every time I got on a course, every time I trained and accomplished something that I couldn't do before, it was like this reaffirmance that I was strong and that mm. I was powerful. And I think I had lost so much of that from being in survival mode for so long. So I ran my first Tough Matter and loved it. And shortly after that, my obstacle course trainer was doing an event called World's Toughest Mutter. And I had wanted to know more about this community. So I offered to be in his pit crew. And World's Toughest Mutter is um, this ridiculous event where uh, people come to find their best versions of themselves. So it's a five mile loop, 24 ops, or 20 obstacles per loop and you run it for 24 hours. And I watched people take away every excuse that they had. Like they all had their own goals. They knew they weren't gonna win this. Um, winning wasn't the issue. It was finding your breaking point and pushing forward in a way that, like creating a bond that can only be created when you're in the middle of that suck and it's 4 a.m. and everything tells you you should be sleeping. And for mm -hmm. some ungodly reason, you refuse to give up. And I just like, I watched people with amputated legs and cancer survivors and people who were blind run this 24 hour race. And here I was terrified for three years to run a 5k with obstacles. I didn't even know there were going to be obstacles. I thought there was just going to be mud. So we're just going to go with 5k. And I remember leaving going, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. And so I told myself that I was going to run World's Toughest Mudder the next year. And I told my trainer I was going to do that too. Again, be careful who you tell things to. Yep. So um, I trained in 2017 for World's Toughest Mudder. I ran um, 17 obstacle course races that year. I finished World's Toughest Mudder meeting my goal of 25 official miles. It was more like 32 unofficial miles with all the penalties. And I just, I found myself in a way that I didn't think I could. 